What's up, everybody? I officially made it to Las Vegas. I uh, got in super late last night and uh, woke up this morning, got some breakfast, and we're here to go. Got me a haircut, too, uh, before I left uh, Kansas. But, um, yeah, so I um, uh, we don't bowl until 9.30 tonight, so it's, like, super late. Um, but I am really excited. Uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, just going to try and relax. It was kind of a rough day yesterday traveling and all, so uh, just going to try and relax. We're going to get some good lunch today and have a good time, spend time with my family here since I haven't seen them in a good while. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely excited for it, ready for it. Got all my balls here. Uh, I've got seven, so be sure to check out my arsenal building uh, part one and part two, uh, top corner of your screen right now, if you want to see what balls that I brought this week. Um, so I'm really excited about it, and we'll see how it goes. Also, just keep in mind that they have a decently strict videoing, no videoing policy uh, here at the Open Championships. Uh, you know, it's just one of their rules. It is what it is. I, I don't agree with it, but, you know, I still have to abide by it. So we're going to try our best to get some shots, but there probably won't be a lot. But I'll definitely be sure to recap for you guys. Um, so thanks, and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it is now Sunday, and uh, we finished bowling team last night. Uh, I didn't record this part because it was super late. Um, I didn't get back to the hotel room until about 1 in the morning. But I will say, so uh, first of all, Mateo and Kyle did really good, so shout out to them. And my mom did pretty dang good too, so shout out to her. Um, but I do want to say uh, about like how that I bowled. Uh, I shot 564, I think. And the reason behind that, well, other than I just had a, a rough start, I was throwing a lot of amazing shots. I was nailing my target, doing what I wanted to physically, um, but my ball reaction was extremely confusing to me, and I, I didn't understand what was going on, and I wasn't reading the lanes properly uh, for about the first game and a half. Um, so game one, uh, I started by throwing my Desperado LE, and realized that it was rolling out. It was uh, hooking way too soon, hooking way too early. And I then went to the UC3, bumped left, and tried to throw it a little bit to the right and shape it. And that worked really well for about two shots. And then, uh, you know, it started to confuse me because it would start hooking in uh, high. And I don't know why. And so um, then it's, it's almost like. Uh, the oil that was there that I was hitting was disappearing the second I would hit it. Um, I had to move almost every frame once I did get lined up, which is so odd because of how quickly that it was changing with me even just throwing a UC3 or uh, like part of it I was throwing a high road pearl and it just confused me a lot. Um, so then uh, second game, I did a lot better. I shot 206, so I went 159, 206. Um, and then the last game I finished with a 199. And so uh, the second game, what I changed was I, I zone changed left and I got left of third arrow with the UC3. So I was looking at 18, 19 at the arrows right around there and trying to get it to five or six down lane. And uh, that worked good. Um, but part of it, uh, I threw a really good shot in there in the last game. Uh, I, I actually, I switched to the reality the last game. Um, because if you watched my part two of my arsenal building, um, I mentioned that uh, Kyle back in Ottawa uh, told me to throw the reality late and see how it did and, and thought that it would work better. And it worked really good there. 
So I was thinking about it, and I was losing my ball reaction. I uh, I was throwing the high row pearl for the first two frames of the last game, and it did not look good. I went split split. So I was thinking, and I said, "Hey, why don't I throw the reality?" So when I threw the reality and threw six in a row uh, with it, and then I did not. I thought about making a move on the right lane um, in in the ninth frame, I think it was, or eighth frame, and uh, I didn't. And because of that, I went through the face. Um, I was moving almost every frame still. The last game, uh, just left and left and left. You know, got in front of the ball return about halfway through the last game. Hopefully tonight, I have a really good game plan for tonight. I watched my friend Nathan Moore shoot 8-11 last night in singles. So that gave me a really good game plan for what I want to do today. And I was talking with Skylar about it. So, And shout out to Skylar um, for helping out with uh, getting a couple videos. So guys, uh, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go get some Dutch Bros. bracket payouts right now it was a good night baby did really well uh really excited and gave it a run at 300 the last game had the front seven uh but threw a okay shot at best and it four pinned but full recap coming up yeah <laughs> all right so guys i had 649 tonight in singles with the front seven the last game um uh, gave it a run uh, didn't quite get there i missed a little left and threw it a little hard uh in the eighth and i thought it would hold and trip the four but it didn't and left a four pin spared it left a three six and whiffed the three six completely and then struck out for 255. um overall though that got me to 649 i was at 394 before that so it was really good to bump back up that last game um finished positive on my all events total so that was really nice um i also hit the 30 clean pot for doubles and I spared the 4, 6, 10 today and the 3, 6, 7, 10 today to do it. So I made the big four yesterday. And then today I had the most clutch split conversions of my life. Um, and that's saying something because I've had some pretty clutch ones before. But, but today in doubles, I had 30 clean with a 4, 6, 10 conversion and a 3, 6, 7, 10 conversion. That is crazy to me. And then I chopped a 6, 10 uh, in singles. Um, it was like the sixth frame of game one of singles. And then uh, I whiffed that three six, the last game of singles for two opens today. Uh, overall though, had a really good time. Um, I don't remember exactly what I shot in doubles, um, but I will confirm that tomorrow. I believe I shot 660-ish, um, somewhere right around there. Uh, so overall it was pretty good. Um, happy with where that I finished uh, through the Desperado LE today and then went uh, in game four, so game one of singles, uh, I went to the Zen Master, and then I went to the Zen from there, and the Zen looked really good. Uh, the Zen Master just left a few flat tens here and there, and the Desperado left a lot of flat tens today. Um, and then it just kind of got squirrely, playing up like two, three, so with the Desperado LE, so I moved left and swung it to the right with the Zen and Zen Master, which is exactly what I was hoping I could do. Uh, break it down with that urethane, get that carry down going, and then play it exactly like I've been practicing. So that was really good. I have Bowler's Journal in the morning with my mom uh, at 9.30. It is currently right at 1.01 a.m., uh, so I need to get some sleep. So you guys have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.
Sup? I'm with Skyler, and we're about to pull doubles at the Bowler's Journal. Let's get it. You ready? Sorry, I can't wait. Yeah, uh, the gutter's in place, so that's a good thing for us. We'll be good. We'll because, be good. Uh, yes, Skyler, uh, well, he's not the best at doing anything but playing the gutter. Nah, I'm not going to be like that. <laughs> nah, he's freaking phenomenal at playing the gutter. So, uh, I'm ready. I think we're going to whack it. I so, we'll do it with you. Go. Woo! Well, everybody, uh, first of all, I know it sounds a little different. I don't have my mic set up right now um, because I'm packing and getting everything ready to go for tomorrow uh, morning because I leave extremely early in the morning. But I want to say thank you all for watching. I just finished uh, bowling the Bowler's Journal the second time today. Um, first time I bowled, did not go so well. I don't remember exactly what I shot. I think it was 560, 570. Um, and then the second time I bowled, I was sitting okay. I went 212, 212. So I was plus 24 for two. And then I uh, really fell off at the end, shot a 160 something. It got really tough. Um, the cash is 646, I believe, right now. I'll probably go up about two or three pins in the next couple of days um, before it ends. But, you know, it, it was really tough. It was, it played very different between the two squads. First squad, wasn't really hooking much on the gutter, so I was having a good time for the first two games controlling that. Had to throw it a little hard, um, but the uh, second squad that I bowled hooked probably four or five more boards, and it was flying off the gutter, which sucked because I, I was bowling with Skyler, and he's really good at playing the gutter, and it was really good the first squad, and we expected that, and it was just entirely different. Um, you know, and so that sucks. There's just certain things you can't control. And then a couple of really bad racks in there that I should have re-racked. Um, but, you know, it happens. Um, I ended up shooting uh, 580, 590, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, and Skyler had a 570. So, you know, overall it could have been worse, but we're not gonna cash in the Bowler's Journal. I still made money out here uh, because of the clean 30 pot from last night and then my single score will cash and my all event score will squeak out a, a check it looks like uh, so I'll probably get you know about 15 to 20 25 dollars from that somewhere in there probably because I'm just a little bit over the line um, but I'm looking really good in, in singles just to be able to get a little bit of money back uh, also doubles we cashed in too so the only thing I didn't cash in in the open championships is team um, and I had that clean 30, so I'll be in the pot for that, expecting about 250 back from that. So it's been a really good time here in Vegas. Um, you know, other than the Bulls Journal, I bowled really, really well. And I was throwing a lot of really good shots. Even when I struggled in team, 
I still was throwing a really good shot. So I'm very content with that. I did what I wanted to. Uh, my game plan worked out for me in the end. I cashed and almost everything that I bowled. And so I was happy with that. And I thought that it went well overall. And I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully being able to bowl next year in Reno. Uh, so about seven and a half, eight hours north of here in Las Vegas. So uh, I'm really excited. Never bowled in the National Bowling Stadium uh, before, but I guess we'll see you next summer. So guys, uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe below. Leave a comment with what tournament are you going to next? I want to know. There's a lot of summer tournaments still left out there for the month of July. So let me know. Um, and then, yeah, uh, otherwise, guys, check out Turbo. Thanks to Turbo Grips. Uh, you know, I got a regional contract with them. So thank you to them for everything. Um, check out them. Get a switch grip in your ball if you uh, want the same thumb feel and same fit in every ball as close as possible. So, guys, thanks again. And shout out to Mateo for absolutely bowling great this week. And uh, my mom for doing really well as well. So, see you guys later.